This video is intended for Toronto District School Board staff and students who want to know how to log into Google Classroom from their iPads. So I'm going to start off by opening the Google Classroom app on my iPad. And when you first log in, um, you'll be asked to log in with a specific account. You can see here on my screen, I've already logged into Google somewhere on my iPad with my personal Google account, but I wanna add my TDSB Google account at this time. So I'm gonna click on add another account. Now, if you haven't signed in with any Google accounts prior to this, this is the window that you will see pop up. So what you're going to do here is you're going to add in your TDSB email. So I'm gonna click in my email Um, for students in the Toronto District School Board, your email is your first name dot last name at student dot tdsb dot on dot ca. Now, if your email doesn't work, the first thing to check is that you spelt everything right, particularly the word student. In very rare cases, some students' email might have a number in it. So, especially if you have a common name. So, it might be julie.millen2 at tdsb.on.ca. The only way to find this out is to actually contact your teacher directly and they will get the information from you. Okay, so once you've done that, you're gonna click on the next sign and what's gonna happen is you're gonna get your AW login window. This is you now authenticating into the Toronto District School Board. So here, I'm gonna type in my username and password. So for students, your username is your student number, the number that you use to go log in to any computer at school and the password that you've been given. Again, if you're having any issues with that, um, you can contact your teacher directly. And so you put in your information and you hit login and you will be in to your Google Classroom. It's as simple as that. I'm not gonna do the whole step for you because I can't screen record without you seeing my password, but that is the process. Um, I'm gonna post some more videos about some additional features in Google Classroom, but let's start with the login. Okay, so once I've entered my username and my password, uh, in this AW login window, I'm gonna hit login, and it will take me into my Google Classroom, and there you have access to all your Google resources. Now. Multiple users can be logged into this Google Classroom. So if you have, um, you know, two or three children in the Toronto District School Board and they're all wanting to use Google Classroom, uh, that's not a problem. You can do it from here. So if you click on your image or the icon in the top right hand corner and click on it, you can manage your accounts from here. So you can go to add another account and then you'll go through the exact same process. So if I were to want to put my, my daughter as a student, I'm going to, it's at student.tdsb.on.ca. I'll have to minimize my keyboard, hit next, and then it's going to prompt me with the AW login. So I don't have her information, I'm not going to log her in, but that's how you can add another user. Uh, the other thing is if I wanted to flip into that account, so you know, I'm working in my Google Classroom and then my daughter wants to get into hers, click on the icons, click on the other name, and you will move into the Google Classrooms associated under that account. It might take a minute, uh, but that's how you can flip between different users. And if you want to manage the accounts, if you need to, uh, you would click on manage accounts and then you can remove any of those accounts from this device. Um, I think that's the really how do you get in and how you get started and logged in to Google Classroom uh, from an iPad.